When it comes to earning passive income, mining cryptocurrency, in my humble opinion, is the absolute best way to do it. Today, we're going to be exploring a way to do that, specifically with NiceHash. NiceHash is a hash rate marketplace. Basically, you can sell mining power and you can buy mining power. And I'll explain more about that as we go along. But the bottom line is, why would we even bother exploring this? Well, with a marketplace in the equation, the potential for higher than normal earnings as a Bitcoin and altcoin cryptocurrency miner are there. Just like I'm glad you're here on the Voscoin YouTube channel. My name is Vosk. Let's dig into it. NiceHash has been around a while and I actually started mining on NiceHash so it has a little bit of a soft spot in my heart. Man, <laughs> over half a decade ago. Oof, I'm aging. And thanks to them for supporting the channel. Looking at even just the browser URL, right? Earn more with NiceHash. How exactly do you do that? Well, let's jump right into the meat of things. We're gonna be using ASIC miners, application specific integrated circuit miners, purpose-built machines, custom computers, right? That's a Bitcoin miner, a Dogecoin miner, a Litecoin miner, as you see all these big devices, they're big, they're bad, they're sweet. Uh, well, and they're controversial, but the fact is, that's what everyone is using with mining these days. So I'm just going to assume that you know what they are and you have them set up. If you don't, watch our setup video guide and our electricity guide to get started with all of this. It's not that bad and it's pretty easy to get going. So I already grabbed one of my Bitcoin miners and I hooked it up to NiceHash. And what I did was I used SHA-256 ASIC Boost. And most of these miners are using ASIC Boost and you don't even realize it anymore. But that was a big development a couple years ago. So to put it simply, if you have Bitcoin miner, probably use the ASIC Boost. If for some reason you're having problems, switch it over to the SHA-256 model there. But they recommend that you just simply use the ASIC boost drop down in addition to syncing up a bitcoin miner i have also synced up a ant miner l7 which is a script asic miner it mines dogecoin as well as litecoin at the same time but that's one of the most notable things about bitcoin right so let's say you want to mine x11 that's dash you want to mine equihash like zcash you want to mine even nervos network eagle song you want to mine Cadena KDA. That's the Blake 2S algorithm. They even have Casper K heavy hash. They also have ETC hash, just to round that out there. And so we're running through this list and you quickly realize that most of these coins with the highest emission are all available for mining here on NiceHash. And why is this interesting, right? Why is this notable um, other than, you know, maybe getting higher earnings here, right? But this is most notable because you can mine all of these different altcoins and get instantly paid out in Bitcoin, which is what a lot of people want to do. Hey guys, it's Miss Vosk. Pro tip here, users outside the US can also get paid in one of 50 supported currencies instead of Bitcoin. So if you look at all these altcoin miners as just opportunities to try to, try to increase your Bitcoin, well then NiceHash is gonna be a very easy uh, route for you to do that. So we look at the hash rate index, and this is basically estimating how much money per pay to hash, which roughly is about 10 Bitcoin miners these days, uh, that you would be earning per day. NiceHash in particular boasts that you can beat the hash rate index because their hash rate marketplace, or hash power buying, gives additional earning opportunities. So as you noticed, I cycled through all these different mining algorithms. That's all you need. You just plug that into your settings config on your ant miner or whatever other ASIC miner, click save, that's it. But when it comes to your username, you gotta make an account and click on your mining address. Okay, because this right here is where I need to mine, not to vosscoin.workername. No, 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 I need to be mining to the, mi the mining address that they give me after I create my account. Also, I have a referral link down in the video description below. Support your boy and use it, please. It helps us keep making all this content that's always free here on the tube. So you can see that my L7 is already here and hashing away on NiceHash. The earnings vary, right? And, and that's to be expected and fine. 
uh, to really just kind of break this down in the simplest term I can, what Nice Hash is going to do is you're just going to mine this coin until a buy order comes in and then you'll earn a little bit more on top. And so will they. That's the simplicity of this business, uh, which has its use. There are a lot of reasons people want to buy hash power, such as being able to mine coins that are hard to buy or not accessible for them in their region. There's many other reasons as well. You could even buy a bunch of hash power and try to crack solo blocks. But the fact of the matter is that their business has proven there is interest in a market for this. I also really enjoy the way that they break down your profitability in Satoshis, which is a micro unit of Bitcoin, like 0. 0.00031 BTC, uh, you know, projected profitability over the next 24 hours. Or I can click it again and get a USD uh, projection there. Uh, my only gripe really is that they don't give you a total Bitcoin earn mining in their dashboard. I, I'm a statistics nerd. I mean, I was telling Alexa, Miss Voss the other day, I was like, I want to put a device on me that gives me like Grand Theft Auto level stats. Like, I mean, how many ounces of water have I drank? How many miles did I walk, run, bike, drive? I you know <laughs> how many times did the police chase me? How many stars have I evaded? You know, all that fun stuff. Um, but that's gonna have to be heavily encrypted so that the government can't just access my scanner and they know a little bit of everything. When it comes to the actual realized real world mining profitability of NiceHash, I'm gonna splice in an update here for you. As I just got these set up, doing a fresh test, I've mined with NiceHash before and good experiences. Uh, specifically, I did a lot of CPU and GPU mining on there. Uh, but now ASICs rule the mining game. I want to preface that this is not a perfect test. This is not flawless. I'm not saying that these are absolutely indisputable. So for example, I'm running two L7s. I'm using the L7 that has a lower hash rate on NiceHash. And the L7 with a reduced mining performance against the other one, mining Dogecoin and Litecoin automatically converted to Bitcoin on NiceHash was much more profitable. The better miner on one of the top Litecoin and Dogecoin mining pools earned one less dollar, actually $1.14 less than the miner that I was running on NiceHash at the exact same time. A dollar may not sound like much, but more money earned in mining is just literally more mining profitability. And now let's talk about the S19, the Bitcoin miner. This earned $8.57 a day on average over three days. It was projected to earn $8.30. And when I used a comparable miner on another top Bitcoin mining pool, it only earned $7.70, which means I mined almost an additional dollar per day on this mine. With the Bitcoin halving coming up in just 319 days, it's just a time to be very excited about mining. It's a, it's a time not financial advice to stack some freaking coin my friends uh this is not the time to have empty bags as far as i am concerned right nice ash does some other things you know you can still mine with cpus and gpus on here uh they basically say sell your idle computing power we've talked about that plenty of times we've got video guides that are still you know accurate here on the channel um they have their quick miner which we talked about and showed which which is honestly really cool and simple and they even built out their own nice hash OS for all of that. If you're wondering about the payout scheme on nice hashes mining pool, it's PPS. It's pay per share. Basically every valid share you get, you get a little piece of the pie. Their fee level is at 2%, but it can be lowered to 0.5% depending on how much you're mining. With over $20 million in Bitcoin mine in the, la in the last 24 hours alone, Okay, uh, this is definitely a, some action I'm trying to get in on. Yeah, Dogecoin and Litecoin to the equation. This is another 1.5 mil. Uh, these numbers are not irregular. Actually, they've been much higher even just in recent times. You may notice a bit of a dippity dip in the charty chart. So I'll save my final thoughts for another splice in because as fun and easy and straightforward all of this is, one thing really matters is at a minimum are we earning relative to what we're earning mining on just a straight up mining pool then to take it a step further are we earning more 
Me personally, I'd actually rather be mining some of these altcoins. And while I love that you have the Bitcoin payout option, I don't want to be forced into always being paid out in Bitcoin. On one hand, that really simplifies my taxes. On the other hand, it really complicates my taxes if I want to get into, say, these other cryptocurrencies. A lot of pros and cons. But if you're a serial shitcoiner like me, you may feel a little bit conflicted. Women lie, men lie, but numbers don't lie. That nah, might have been a little cheesy. To round it out, this is crazy, right? Statistically, going up from $7 to $8 is a pretty big increase. That increase from $17 to a little bit over $18 is not as substantial, but you take 100 miners, well, you're earning an additional $100 per day in mining profitability. I wanna recap this again, right? As a disclosure, like this is not a perfect test. I did not have the exact same miners running. Um, I understand that. I actually set up the L7 uh, to be a disadvantage on NiceHash. And, uh, you know, if it was even comparable, I was going to give the edge to NiceHash because of that, right? Um, but, you know, again, NiceHash has supported the channel. I'm literally in the business here of keeping it real with you guys because your word is everything, or at least that's how seriously I take mine. Uh, so I'm kind of impressed. Obviously, this isn't an end all be all test. I sincerely encourage you to maybe give it a spin yourself. See if you can replicate those results or if they're the opposite. I wanna hear the honest truth from you down in the comments below. And even more, I'd love for you to make a write-up on Voscoin Talk, the Voscoin Forum, and share your results there. I can even drop my address and we can compare it long-term there. But hey, that's all I got for now. My name is Vosk. You're on the Vosk Coin YouTube channel. I hope you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, stick around, and everything else every other corner YouTuber says these days. But even worse, those TikTok.